You know, we've decided that um, it's only a talent crisis if you don't have a plan. So we've put a lot of time into actually uh, meeting this moment with our plan going forward. And it felt very, came very clear to us, what we need to do is invest in talent. Invest in our existing talent, and that's been defined as what it means to create um, empowered hybrid is our language for it. Um, we needed to create definitions around what hybrid would mean for our employees going forward, and we've done that. This concept of convene with purpose, so convene for community, for collaboration, for creativity, and most importantly for us, convene for clients. Those four principles have governed our empowered hybrid model and has helped our existing employees find the way that they want to actually engage with the office moving forward. Around talent development, we've actually put $50 million towards learning and development programs and started partnerships to really double down on how we invest in new and the talent development of our existing teams. So this means that we've relaunched um, programs inside of a new umbrella program called Group M University. Group M University has launched with a new program called Launchpad that sort of reskills and upskills, ta upskills talent that wants to get into the media industry. Now in partnership with that, we've joined up with some universities and along with the other holding companies have joined a program called BIC. It's Branded Integration and Communications Program at CCNY. Really proud of this and I'm proud because it's become an industry initiative across us and other holding companies where we've put aside our differences and really decide to invest in the diversification of talent through this program. It's a master's level program, uh, $300,000 has been put towards a scholarship that will support um, students in this program um, and that cohort will start, um, that uh, student cohort will start this fall um, at C uh, City College of New York. Really interesting opportunity for us to double down on making um, the relationship between new employees and our companies um, better. So we're really excited. We don't, we don't think it's a, it's a crisis unless you don't have a plan and we like the plan we've got. Kirk, there's been, uh, you know, recently there's been an announcement about reorg uh, within Group M mm -hmm. around the agencies and new agency group handles. Tell us what's going on there. Sure, the evolution of the organizational structure really has been one driven by the fact that um, the business and the world around us in media has gotten more and more complex, but our clients need more integrated solutions in reality. So we are actually bringing um, uh, media closer to creative inside of WPP as the creative transformation company. Inside of Group M, there's also a relationship uh, it's important for us to understand and bring to life the relationship between technology, data analytics as a, part, a core part of how our clients actually um, uh, uh, execute their plans with the scale services that we've had in other parts of the organization. So the most recent announcement touches on three areas that we really think are critically important. We thought it was really important to bring together um, uh, something that started three years ago as we were bringing uh, NEO inside of Mindshare organization. So that, that was the close of the sort of that transaction and it settled. Um, we've now brought Essence and Mediacom together. Essence has been known for its strength in data analytics, um, really more of a software company than sort of services business. With our scaled, global scale proposition and Mediacom, those two come together as we married the strengths of both of those organizations to, to, to now have uh, what we believe a more robust offering to some of our largest clients. Very excited about that. Um, uh, so now we stand up Essence, Mediacom, uh, Mindshare, and Wavemaker as the three principal media entities inside of Group M. The last piece that we've done most recently is the launch of Group M Nexus. And Group M Nexus really marries together um, across our organizations globally, 9,000 sort of practitioners in technology, data analytics, and um, our largest services organization all into one. This is an opportunity for us to take what had been best in class programmatic expertise and Zaxis, best in class addressable TV and, fine, uh, TV and Finecast, as well as a services organization and begin to share best practices in one organization. It is the largest sort of performance offering in the world right now. And increasingly, that's what our clients need. Um, this relationship between you know brand and performance is one where brand actually activates and contributes to performance so we needed to actually bring this expertise centralized and nexus to market and and those were sort of the three biggest things that we've done as our sort of organizational evolution continues.